Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last video, we were rebuilding this Mazda RX-7, and we actually managed to finish building the engine with as many performance parts as possible, which, to be honest, is not a lot at all. Like, not many of these parts have actually been made on the tuning tuning saw so uh what we're gonna do we're gonna grab the engine crane move that over to lift a and we're gonna put this beast of an engine into the car and there we have it right next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start installing exhaust uh we got to install nope this one. We got some performance exhaust, so which is good. And a rear muffler. So the whole exhaust system underneath the car are performance parts, which is really cool. Now what I want to do is mount the fuel tank. I haven't bought a fuel pump yet. Hang on. Let's go buy that now. No. There we go. Uh, F, 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 F. F for fuck. There we go. Fuel pump. Up here. There we go. Fuel pump installed. Do you have a gearbox? Yes, we do. We got ourselves a start motor as well. Now, I think we're going to start with the front suspension today. Okay, so tie rods don't work. Uh, I'm going to go buy some inner tie rods and outer tie rods. I also know that brakes is also a problem. Brake pads are always a problem. And I don't know which brake discs it uses, so I'm buying four of each. There we go. Uh, let's go back to the front. Probably need a load of um, rubber bushings mm. as well. There we go. Ah! Brake pads. Fit them on. Fit on the brake caliper. We all have bearing. I forgot about them. And buy a load of these. There we go. We should have plenty of items now. Okay, front sway bar as well. Um, under here. Oh, 
Buy one of each of the front and the rear sway bars. Um, and we also need front shock absorbers. I think it's shock absorber A. Um, here we go, spring puller. And there we go, right, so that's the two springs sorted out. Here we go, other side. And I forgot the sway bar links as well. Ah. Oh. Uh, sway bar front end link is somewhere over here. We need link A. I know we also need two rear end links as well, so that will come in handy later. And there we go. That is that side sorted out. Let's go to this side and build on top of this. Uh, oh, low suspension arm. We shall deal with that. Inner tie rods. Uh, outer tie rods. And then we want the knuckle covers to go on. Go. And shock absorbers. And then we've got tires to put on. Uh, let's fit in the drive shaft first. There we go, they are in. That's such a weird rear knuckle though. Rubber bushings. Those are so annoying. Uh, did we repair all the spring caps and springs? No. Okay. So we need rear springs. And rear shock absorber cap. Doesn't matter if we spend too much money because this is sandbox mode. I am still playing on my main account, um, so I can get to level 30. Because that way, once we get to level 30, we can be more tactical about rebuilding these cars. Are you serious? Did I not buy enough brake pads? I mean, that's stupid.
Break calipers. Hub bearing. Ah, so drive axles are all repaired as well. That's good. Right, let's go to the other side and completely build this. There we go. Uh, suspension arm. B. Oh dear. There we go. Right, spring cap. Rear spring. And rear shock absorber cap. And the final rubber bushing. And now all we got to do is finish up the drive assembly. And we should be able to fit in some new rims. Now I think there's two types of rims for this car. Last time I checked anyways. Which was a while ago. So probably not anymore. RX-7B. No, there must be different parts then. Um, so let's take a look at how big these ones are. RX-7B is... I cannot see that. 235-45-17. So if we buy um, race tyres... Two, three, five, forty five, seventeen. We're going to put some race tyres on this one. But rims, rims wise, let's see what Mazda ones they actually have. RX7A or RX7B? Hmm. I'm not too keen on that. I want to go for a modern one. I want to go for 06C. I want to try them. Right, let's fit these tyres on. Oh, they do look cool. Right, balance that. And then install tyres again. Right, let's take that. Uh, let's install another one. And balance another wheel. Oh, I don't know how I like them. I don't know whether I actually like those tyres. I really don't know how I feel about them now. Now that I think about it. 
I think I definitely have to get rid of that brown colour. I don't know what old car designers were thinking, but brown does not suit a car. It never has done, and it never will do. Let's take that and fit that in here. Nope. Part mount. There we go. Right, that is everything underneath the car sorted out. So what I'm actually going to do is going to move this to the garage entrance. And we're going to fit the last of the things inside. So, what do we need in here? We need battery, brake servo, radiator A, and I remember it was housing fan B set. Um, the two fan set. Uh, clip B's. And then we need a uh, brake servo. And we also need a battery. Radiators. Where are they? Radiator A. That one. There we go. We got a performance air filter for it. Here we go. Right, air filter base. Air filter. I've got three of those. Hmm. Ah, uh, I'm stupid. I've just noticed. Rubber bushings missing. Ah! How come I can do that then? Hmm? Wow. Uh, okay. Right. So that is all the parts done. Now what we need to do is do the welding. So let's go grab the welder, which is over here. Ah, oh, do I have to take it to the car lifters? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Right, let's move you to lifter three. Use that. There we go. And now put you back. And then move you back to the garage entrance. Then I also need this. And now assemble mode. So we need all of the tail lights. Uh, we need a front left door.
Okay, right. Um, tablet. Body shop. And we're going to search up R X. Anything that says R X seven, we're just buying one of each. I actually might just for the sake of it take all the parts off and put them back on but with the off colored ones <laughs> Do you know, now that I've actually seen that, I think a matte black Mazda might look nice. Um, so now that is done, we've got the interior to sort out. Uh, interior shop. Actually, is the interior already sorted out? No. Right, so we need to buy ourselves a bench. I'm going to take a look and see what performance seats we have. Do you know what? I'm going to take two of them. I'm not even going to bother with a rear seat. Tablet. Actually, I might get rear seats as well. Just uh, and we also need steering wheel at the bottom. I know exactly which one I'm gonna go for. Probably um this one. Actually, no. This no. Okay, I don't know which one I'm going to go for. We'll go for that one. Why not? Oh, uh, you are kidding me. Alright, fine. We're not going with the bench seats in the back, then. Um, I think that is you done. If we now uh, put in the oil. We should be ready to move the car. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably move this to the paint shop first. Ah, where? Oh no, it's here, isn't it? Um, matte black. So that's the metallic black. That's the matte black. Pearl black, chrome black. I just noticed they spelled matte black wrong.
Ah, uh, okay. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Matte black, there we go. That is looking nice. Right, let's move this to the dino. So I think every single part got replaced with a performance version. So I want to see how it looks. Rubber bushing missing from car. Nice. Wow. Ah. Uh, there's the exit. Can I put them in without? Yes. Now we can do the test. Move. Yes. Proceed with the dyno test. Start engine. Those black tyres look really nice, actually. Three seven five horsepower, so it's not too insane. I will take that. Um. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it for a drive. Probably going to be a horrible drive. <laughs> but we're going to take it for a quick drive. Uh, where is the racetrack? There it is. No, I've just taken the RX-3. Ah! Right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's been amazing rebuilding these two absolutely superb cars. Um, this Mazda RX-3 has so much, like, it just looks amazing. Um, and it ends up selling for around about $52,000, which is amazing. And then the Mazda RX-7, which is... I mean, look at that engine. This engine is absolutely amazing, right? 
And this sells for about 76,000. So, anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.